do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human nutrition in that we are studying topic structure of liver we all know that liver is the largest gland present in human beings today we'll be studying how does actually liver look like and what are the cells present in it liver it is the largest gland present in human beings approximately it is 1.2 to 1.5 kg present inside a human body liver is basically present inside the abdominal cavity or you can say the stomach cavity when i say cavity it is nothing but space liver is basically consisting of hepatic lobules and this hepatic lobules are nothing but structural and functional unit of hepatic cells in simple language i could say that large number of hepatic cells come together and form the structure of liver each lobule is basically covered by a thin membrane of connective tissues and this thin membrane of connective tissue is nothing but the sheath of glinson capsules liver does various functions of secreting certain juices releasing certain juices help in the erythropoiesis of rbcs apart from that to the liver there is a duct that is connected and this duct is nothing but the duct of gallbladder or you can say the cystic duct structure of liver liver is the largest gland and it approximately weighs 1.2 to 1.5 kg in adult human beings it is basically situated inside the abdominal cavity just below your diaphragm or you can say the respiratory system basically the rib cage it has two different lobes hepatic lobe is basically the structural and functional unit of liver or in simple language we can say that the smallest cell of the liver are nothing but hepatic cells that are arranged in the form of a cord or ring like structure each lobule of hepatic duct is covered by thin connective tissues and this thin connective tissue are nothing but glion's capsules now the duct of gallbladder or you can say the cystic duct which will have the pancreatic juices along with hepatic duct or the cells of liver form the common bile duct which will contain the bile juices this is a structure of the liver as we all know that liver is the largest gland this is the right lobe or you can say the right hand side of the liver this is the common duct or you can say the gallbladder which is associated with the liver the hepatic artery 
along with the portal vein and the hepatic vein all together constitute the blood circulation system to the liver that is carrying of oxygenated or deoxygenated blood to the liver vice versa basically the left lobule and the calciferin ligament together constitute the part that helps during the release of various juices or these are the places where hepatic lobules emerge students in this part of the chapter we have studied the structure of liver and what are the various cells that constitute the liver cells i hope you all are clear about this concept thank you